Man, oh man, we are getting one step closer to No Man's Land. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ZX Wrestling. We are just two weeks away, I believe, two weeks away from entering No Man's Land once again on October 27th. That's going to be a hell of a pay-per-view or a PLE, whatever you want to call it. I'm your commentator, Pat Adams, former European champion here. I've done a lot of stuff in my wrestling career, but I've just got to stick to the commentary side of things for the week. But trust me when I say, tonight, it's looking pretty damn good. And we're only two weeks away from No Man's Land, so we've got to make every show count. And tonight, it's going to be no different. Pretty soon, we're going to be going over the card. I think you guys are going to like this. Kick it off the show. We have the television titles, obviously. Both champions will be defending against mystery opponents. I I I I love the television title matches. They create this element of suspense. We also have some number one contendership matches as well. We have an eight-man number one contendership for the all-star title, and we have a six-man number one contendership for the European title. We can get the the guy on the right middle, Alan. We can get him out of there. And also our remaining event, it will be Lilia Miller versus Ash Kimiko Hernandez, the latter who I've been a bit concerned about as of late because of everything going on on Twitter. Uh, yeah, well, I'll talk about that in a bit. But I got a show to call, so yeah. Oh, hey, we're on Toronto. True hero. Drew Hero, a former one, two, three, four time hardcore champion, is now looking to add the television championship to his resume. He's also the guy that eliminated me from the 2023 Chaos Rumble match. How dare he? One day, Drew Hero is going to have a full-fledged championship run. I just, I have this gut feeling that it's going to happen soon. I don't know how soon, but soon, 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 hopefully. Here comes the champion. side of the stage or on the right side of the stage like how, how did he get there this motherfucker can teleport 
too many people in this place get teleported. The brother of the women's world champion, Zena Deville. The Devils have been reigning supreme in ZX Wrestling. You got Christian as the television champion, and you got Zena as the women's world champion. It took forever for his nameplate to pop up. I was like, where the hell is his nameplate? <laughs> like making me wait for these, don't you? <laughs> well, here we go. The ZX Wrestling Television Championship is on the line. Christian Deville defending against Drew Hero. Mike Rome, take it away. Introducing the challenger from Orlando, Florida. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Drew Hero. And his opponent from Osaka, Japan. Weighing in at 228 pounds, the Look at these drinks, man. <laughs> I don't know why, like, every time... <laughs> every time I get a friggin' glass of water, it's ice cold. It's not only this cold. Like, when I'm home, it's fine. But when I'm here, it's ice cold. <laughs> it's weird. I, I, I don't get it. And I know, I know there's no ice in my drink. So, I, I, I can't explain that. If I could, I would. But that's not the topic of discussion right now. The topic of discussion is this championship match. Here we go. We are underway at Christian DeVille already drawing first blood with a big knee to the face. Follow it up with a cold oh my god! <laughs> already Drew Hero coming out of the gate, countering the curb stop into a violent cutter, bringing him up for a power bomb to follow all of that up. We are off to a hot start tonight. And now, over the top rope and out of the ring goes Christian Neville and Drew Hero now on the run or on the walk in this scenario. Dragging Christian back up to his feet, locking up the champion, throwing the challenger into the ring. And now Christian lock it up again. Big knee to the midsection by Drew Hero, throwing the champion over the top rope again out of the ring. And now Drew Hero. Baseball sliding, I think it was trying to <laughs> stomp on his chest, but a splash works. It may not be as effective, but it still works. And now Christian DeVille thrown back into the ring. That referee is testing his luck. DeVille finally goes off the ropes properly, but he gets caught with a spinning side slam. Cover for the win and the championship and a kick out at two. The rain continues. Christian just springing right back up. Oh, wow. Elbow out of nowhere. Followed up with a fun, uh, friggin' violent forearm. I almost said phenomenal forearm. He's not AJ Styles, Pat. And now Fireman's carry out. God almighty. Christian Neville, he just knows what he's doing. Boom. And now into the cover to retain the television title. There's one. How's that not a rope break? Kick out at one nonetheless. And now... DeVille running the ropes again, gets caught with a power slam by Drew Hero. And now the champion brought back up to his feet, thrown over the top. That's the third time he's got. <laughs> he has a bad time with ropes. And now Drew is... He's thinking. 
He wants to do something. What are you doing? You're all running DDT by the challenger. I'm surprised that worked out considering how long Christian was up for. But nonetheless, Drew Hero remains in control of the match. Spear by True Hero! Taking a page out of my playbook! Cover for the win! And the championship and a kick out by Christian at two! And now, Drew Hero gets caught with a punch right to the kidney. I think Christian was trying to go for another one. Punch caught. And now, the combinations come flying in. There's a kick and a stomp to the foot. And another kick to follow it up. The kickboxing coming in. Followed up with seven violent punches in a row to the face of the challenger. Lock it up again. Off the ropes goes Drew Hero. Oh my lord. <laughs> I don't know what to call that one. Lock up again. Off the ropes. Goes the challenger. Gets called by the rolling thunder kick. And now Drew brought back up to his feet. Courtesy of Christian Deville. And now off the ropes. And a spine buster. By Christian Neville, cover for the win, and to retain his championship, there's two kick out by Drew Hero. As you can obviously tell, Christian Neville is not that happy, as he continues to lay waste to Drew Hero. Seven more punches to the face, bringing the challenger back up, lock up, doesn't do anything. Lock up again, does something this time, nope, all for nothing, off the ropes, oh my lord. And now, a punch to the kidney, and a punch to the face. We're trading blows again in ZX Wrestling. Caught, punch, caught, punch. I don't even got to say it, you know what's going on. Oh, DeVille got the best of that one. Boom! Me right to the face. The kickboxing coming in again. Is that kickboxing? I think it is. Drew thrown into the turnbuckle and just crushed. And now Drew, oh, I thought he was going to roll out of the ring. That would have been the smart strategy. But I think that might have cost him. What goes up must always come down a top rope hung cutter. And now over in the corner, calling for it. Ready for the end. Violent elbow to the back of the skull. Cover for the win. And to retain the television championship. Oh, but True kicks out at two. Keeping the match alive, but for how much longer? Fight forever chance ringing throughout the building. Drew Hero, after all that, is back in control. Big boot right to the face of the champion. And now running the ropes, looking forward. Leg drop. I said end leg drop for some reason. I thought he was going for a splash. Cover for the win. And the championship and a kick out again. And Drew taunting. I'm not sure if that if that's going to help him, but I, I, I'll shut up for now. I'll shut up. I'll, leave my, I'll bite my tongue. Ow, that actually hurt. I didn't actually do it, don't worry. <laughs> Fireman's carry. Oh, just, just, just hurling him down into the, <laughs> into the canvas. Cover for the win. And the championship kick out at two and a half by Christian Neville. And now Drew Hero back up to his feet, waiting on the champion to crawl up. He's waiting, turn him around. And now he's got him up. Oh, just dropping him face first in the cover for the title. Christian gets the shoulder up in two and a half. The match continues, but for how much longer? Christian DeVille thrown into the corner. And now, oh, well, that didn't go so well now, did it? Thrown across the ring. Oh, Jesus. Just a rolling swanton. Cover for the win. And to retain the championship. But a kick out at two. And the match continues. Kick to the midsection. And now targeting the arm. And the leg. The entire left side of True Hero being utilized against him. And now Christian Neville is pondering his next move. 
He could have pinned him right then and there to end it, but he does not. Instead, he throws Drew Hero into the turnbuckle, and now looking to end it off with a bang. Cover, shoulders down, legs hooked. Cra what? I'm sorry, how? I what? Uh, huh? I think the script said he was supposed to stay down. Uh, what? How did he kick out of that? I have no idea how he kicked out of that, but the comeback is on for Drew Hero just like that. And now Drew Hero finally on the attack. He's been through a ton of devastating punishment tonight, but all that seems to be coming to a head. Violent DDT by the challenger bloodied up and everything and Drew Hero is still alive but for how much longer to slam him down in the middle of the ring just like that cover for the win and the championship there's two oh but Christian DeVille kicks out again oh playing possum playing possum that could do it possum pins do tend to work but it doesn't work this time and now Christian Neville back in the corner, calling for one more time, brick wall. And now Drew Hero capitalizing off of his, in it, uh, I think it was unintentional brick wall, but it works nonetheless. Oh God, just slapping the pecs of Christian. Now over in the corner, well he was in the corner, running the ropes, boom! Clear the deck for the cannonball. Lock up again. DeVille thrown into the corner. Went for a punch, but Drew Hero gets caught. Oh, oh, wow. Trying to friggin' tear the quads of Christian or something. It almost worked though, it almost worked. But Christian rolled out of the ring. Good strategy on his part. And now Drew Hero trying to capitalize. And I dare say trying, because it doesn't work all the time. And now spring it up to the top rope. Oh, what are you doing? And now up on the shoulders, the rolling thunder. Um, the rolling fireman's. I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna call it the rolling fireman's carry slam. It's not enough though. It was a kick at it too. Drew Hero is still alive, but for how much longer can this match go on? Throw it into the corner again. Christian Neville, you've got to capitalize on this, but he does not. Violent clothesline by the challenger. And now running the ropes once again. Big splash by the challenger. There's a punch to the midsection and a punch right to the temple. That might have just knocked out Christian Neville. But he's bringing him up again. It might have, oh my god, just, just hurling him up 10 feet into the air and then catching him on the way down with an uppercut following it up with a spinning clothesline. Don't go for the cover there, it's going to be a rope break. Drew heeds my words. And now, fire, oh my god, I think that's a, Jesus, what the? These two are putting on a clinic. And now Drew, kick to the midsection. Is he planning here? Some sort of... Oh, he's hanging him on the corner. A corner DDT. I've never seen that before. Stop to the arm to follow it up. And now this could be the momentum. This could be the momentum that Drew Hero needed. He's saying, I'm putting an end to this, whether you like it or not. Your television championship will be mine. Will it be, though? Yeah, but I didn't think so. I did not think so. Christian Neville taking advantage with a violent spinning elbow. Cover for the win. And to retain the gold, there's two. Christian Neville retains in grand fashion. Wow. Christian DeVille absolutely just madman.
He cleanly retains the television championship in supreme fashion. Well done, Christian. Let's see how much longer he can hold on to it for. Next television title match up next. Oh, Amy Marie. Former women's world champion, and that's the only championship she's won. I've mentioned this countless times. But Amy wants to put an end to that once and for all. She, just, she wants more championships, and I can't blame her. I, I've won my fair share of titles. I think I've won like over a dozen. Jesus, I've only been doing this for a couple years. I've won a dozen titles. What's going on here? Amy Marie wants to join the multi-time champion club. She wants to win another championship. But, and this, she could do it here. She could do it here. I mean, she does have a lot of history with the champion in question. Zoella, she wants to retain the title. It's entirely possible. Believe me. Here we go. The ZX Wrestling Women's Television Championship is on the line. Kara Zoella defending against Amy Marie. Mike Grone, take it away. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Amy Marie. And her opponent. From London, England, the women's television champion, Karen Zenda! Here we go. Our second television title bout of the night. And it's for the women's belt. Who's taking it home? Amy Marie? Or Kara Zoella? Time to find out. Here we go. Our second match of the night officially underway. And now Kara Zoella already has the upper hand. Oh, trying to send her to the outside. But Amy Marie holding her ground. Springboard. Oh, a springboard cutter. Already coming out of the gate with everything, trying to roll her up, but that did not work whatsoever. Instead, she got a knee right to the face. And now Carazoel looking to take advantage back into the cover now for the win and to retain the championship, but a kick out at one. Amy Marie getting right back up. Kara trying to trying to make something work here, but it's not working anywhere. She gets caught with the kick to the hamstring, dodges a super kick. There's a God almighty. What a roundhouse. And now lock it up with her again. Setting her up. Looking for a vertical suplex. Walking with her. The blood rushing to the head of Amy Marie. Vertical suplex connecting. And now Kara bringing Amy Marie back up. And throwing her into the corner. Oh god, just trying to crush her in between. But Amy able to get out of harm's way. Now looking for a choke slam. Okay, I thought she was going for a choke slam, but that works too. Springboard mood salt, nobody home. Carry able to get out of harm's way. And now looking for a fisherman suplex. I think that was a fisherman. But Amy gets right back up from that. Damn. And now trying to drag the champion back up, but gets her leg sweep instead. Went for a leg drop. Nobody home. Amy Marie able to get right back up just in time. And now targeting the spine of the champion and the arm and the side. 
Looking for a standing mood salt. Well, it was kind of a standing mood salt. It's just mainly using the knees. It works though. It works. And now running the ropes. Looking for a spinning neck breaker. Able to connect it. Kara wisely rolling out of the ring though. Champion's advantage. Can only win the championship inside the ring by pinfall or submission. And now just prying at the face of Amy. And again. Twice over. <laughs> commentators, uh, the makeshift commentators over there aren't necessarily that receptive about all this. Who can blame them? <laughs> Amy Marie trying to get back up on her feet, able to do it herself, but Kara says, Bitch, you're supposed to stay down. And now lock it up again, throwing the challenger into the corner. And now Amy Marie targeting the leg, just twisting it as she tosses. Kara Zoella halfway across the ring. And now, chucking her into the turnbuckle. Trying to make some good use of it. Hanging her up on it. What's the plan here? Oh, hang on. I don't think I've seen this yet. What is she planning? Oh my god! A double foot stomp to a hanging Kara Zoella. Cover for the championship. Kara powers out at two. My tongue's starting to go dry. That's that is so annoying. Like, you ever have that happen to you where your tongue just like, like it's so annoying. It affects my talking. Amy Marie back into the corner, a spear into the corner. Like it makes me sound like that I have a lisp. I do have a bit of a lisp. God, that is so annoying. Now stomping away at the arms of Amy Marie, just going absolutely ham. And who could blame her? Amy Marie, though, turns the tables. Now it's her turn to target the arms. Locking up again. Kick to the midsection. Oh, so a sunset flip. Cover for the win. And the championship, but a kick out of two by Kara Zoella. Amy Marie, obviously pretty pissed off about that. Who can blame her? Kara again rolling out of the ring. Amy Marie probably noticed that. Oh my god, Connor with a power bomb to the outside by Kara Zoella. The incredible reflexes. The, the cat like reflexes of the champion. I don't even know if that's the proper term because Jesus Christ following up with a super kick. And now looking for some Crimson Beauty. Cover for the win and the championship. There's two. Kick out by Amy Marie. And now Amy Marie just hanging in there by a thread for all I know. Dragging herself back up. Amy Marie just runs face first into the turnbuckle and gets caught with a boot right to the face and a clothesline immediately afterwards. And now back into the swing of things here, stomping away at the arm once again. Kara Zoella manipulating the limbs of the challenger. She's good at that. And now looking to make great use of an arm bar here. Trying to tap out the challenger. She can do it. Amy Marie has been submitted before, but it won't happen tonight, I don't think. There's a punch, and another, and another, and Amy's able to break free. Oh, there's a punch. Went for another one. Did not connect. Instead, Amy Marie. Oh, my. That, I've never seen that. <laughs> I've never seen Amy go for that before. That was absolutely amazing, but it was not enough. Kimura, a standing Kamora lock. When has anyone done a standing Kamora lock? It's been a long time since I've seen something like that, but it might work out. And actually, no, it will not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up. And now, oh, beautiful bridge. Legs are caught. Shoulders are down. Oh, Kara able to get out at two barely. Now Kara's back at the swing of things. Choke slam by the champion. Now stop it away. And now, now what she's doing. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's a rope break, though. Good call on the official. Now stomping away again. 
Amy Marie trying her best to get out of harm's way, but again, targeting the arm. The manipulation of the arm is absolutely tremendous from Kara Zoella. Amy able to roll out of harm's way though. Head scissors take down of some sort. It's just I still don't know what to call that. Oh god. Jumping spinning kick. Followed up with a hip attack. Roll a bit. Going into the cover for the win and the championship. Oh, but a kick out at two and a half. The rain continues. But for how much longer? And now climbing up to the top rope. Who is going to walk out with the gold? Went for some twisted bliss. Did not work whatsoever. Spine buster by the champion. And now stomping away. Rolling her over. And now bringing the challenger back up. Kick to the midsection. Cradle DDT. That could do it. Cover for the win. And to retain the championship. There's one. There's two. Carol. Oh my god. Shoulder up. At 2.9. I genuinely thought that that was it. But I just got proven dead wrong. Now with the cross face. This could do it. Carazoella. Maybe moments away from victory. The prawn arms locked in. And that's going to do it. Amy Marie taps out. Or gives up to the prawn arms. And Kara retains. I know, Kara, it feels damn good to hear and still. Hearing those two words, and still, it's always such a great feeling. And now Kara gets to relish in that feeling once again this week. Let it be known who the champ is. Man, oh man. All right, we got our number one contendership matches coming up very shortly. We should probably start getting ready. No, she. Now what? Glorious. No, that's not right. Glorious. What's going on here? I gotta nail this that's down Ralph one way or the Alan. other. I don't. How about you stop posing the thorn of the mirror, you fain fuck? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, would you just drop it? I said I'm sorry for injuring Damien. How you got the number six spot in the No Man's Land chamber is beyond me. What do you do? What do you do? Well, I'll tell you what you did. You did fuck all for it. You don't deserve it. You only got there because you were associated with the very best. And that's all you ever done. Be associated with the very best. That's all you did. Hey, I'm trying my best. Ooh, I tried my best. I tried my best. If you're trying your best, you wouldn't have ended the world champion. Now we, the title is fucking fake. You know what? Fuck you. Suck my dick. You know what? Jesus. You're a fucking joke, you know that? No wonder no other wrestling promotion would take you. In fact, most wrestling promotions will take fucking anyone. You are a sad, unsafe, fucking miserable prick. I have never met a more pathetic, more worthless son of a bitch in my entire career. And I say in a fucking lot because I've been wrestling for almost half a fucking decade. And I'll tell you right, Damian Walker was right about one thing. You will never be world champion. You couldn't even win the CX Wrestling Television Championship all by your fucking self. You have to get help for it. I, I, I wish, motherfucker, I wish I could tell you that you'd be forgotten. But it's one of the God's best jokes that you're associated with the very best and will be associated with them. Except that joke is on all of us. You are nothing more than a gimmick. I don't clown. think I've That's ever heard a match in my entire your career beats life. Nothing. You serve, uh, serve purpose. You should end your career now and save some of the spots on the card for the people who actually deserve it. Ooh, ooh, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. You t oh, you're trying to write, you're trying to write. Wait, you got nothing to say, Ralph? You got nothing to say? I'm going to punch you now. <laughs> you don't have the ball. Oh, okay. He does have the balls. He does have the balls. And they're going at it in the back. I did not think I'd ever. I did not see this coming. <laughs> Aiden giving me flashbacks of fucking Deadpool and Wolverine right now. Kick to the midsection of Ralph McBeth. Um, I, listen, I, I get Aiden's frustration, but come on. It was an accident, dude. I'm gonna have to. Oh, Jesus! Went for the trouble in paradise, but gets caught! <sighs> Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, and again! And a knee as well to follow all that up! Oh, God! 
boat right to the face, and they're locking up again. Ralph, throw it into the glass window! Yeah, and while you're there tasting glass, maybe you should think about get your own gimmick for once, you copyright infringing fuck! Fuck you! I'm out of here. I'm not wasting my auction on your cunt ass. My own gimmick? Hmm. My own gimmick? Might have to have a think about that one. Guess it's time to go to the drawing board. Hey, are you good, dude? Are you good? Look, it was an accident, dude. You don't gotta go that crazy over it. Damien's gonna be fine. I don't know what his malfunction is. At least not at this moment. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually, but we got enough more contendership matches to deal with. This is the first one. And eight people are involved in this one. Eight people. Ken Reed. Where do I start with this man? Former television, former one, two, three. Is it actually three time? Yeah, three time television champion and a former world heavyweight champion. This man is now looking to add the all star championship to his collection, but he's got to win this match first. And the fact that he's got to go through seven other people, it's a tall task, but it's doable for someone with his skill level. There may be some rookies to the number one contendership scene, or the eight-man number one contendership scene. Oh, the Savage has arrived. Savage got so far in the elimination match for, I believe, the United Kingdom Championship. He got so far. He got to the final two. But Black Heron took it all away from him. I, I think it was... Was it Black Heron? I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Ser seriously, Savage, whoever picked Savage's theme song, top tier, top tier music selection. Th th that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Ooh. Now this is interesting. Three-time light heavyweight champion. The man with the most light heavyweight championships in all of ZX Wrestling history. 
He's got three light heavyweight titles to his name, but no all-star titles. With a win here, he has a chance to change all of that. But it's a one in eight chance. And it doesn't help that there's people gonna be breaking pinfalls up left and right and left and right. There's gonna be people everywhere, so he's gonna need to keep eyes and ears everywhere. Who's next? Ah, Jax Harper. You know, how come, how come Jax doesn't have a Twitter account? Jax, get to, Jax, get to making a Twitter account. I'm still not, I'm still not used to this new version of Jax Harper. Like, normally when we'd see him, he'd be with the SMA, but honestly, it feels so good to see him without the SMA. Because now he gets to do his own thing, just carefree. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and me and Jax have been getting along really well backstage. Who's next? Oh, yeah. In 2000, work. I'm coming on to two years of being in this place. It's been over. What the fuck? I was. I debuted here in 2022, October 2022. It's already October 2024. I, dude, time fucking flies. Holy shit. But enough of enough about my my time here in the place. My God. Dominic Dagash. Where do I start with him? Former two-time world champion, former Intercontinental champion, former television champion, former hardcore champion. Holy shit. This man has done so much. He's a two he's a two-time world heavyweight champion as well. All this man needs is a tag title, and he's Grand Slam. All right, that's five. Who's next? Oh, yeah. I wonder who did those opening drums. God, I love this song. Darwin Xavier held the television championship for 28 days. 28 days. And he won the television title in his first match. That in itself is insanely impressive. Oh yeah, I forgot I cut the verse. I forgot I cut the first verse out of this. I, I did the mix for this too. I did the drums and I did the remix. I completely forgot it was just chorus, breakdown, chorus. I completely forgot. What is wrong? He's pointing at me again. He, he, this motherfucker, I think he knows. He knows. He knows I did this. He knows I made this. He's smiling at me. <laughs> I think he likes it. That is so bad. <laughs> 
That is so awesome to listen to. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that's six. Who's next? Oh, my God. This just keeps getting better and better. This lineup keeps getting better and better. Nick Roy. Former World Heavyweight Champion, former EMGG Champion, former United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion, Nick Roy is a Grand Slam Champion. I think he's Grand Slam. Yeah, he is Grand Slam. He is also, so far, the only Grand Slam Champion, to my knowledge, the only Grand Slam Champion in ZX Wrestling. That in itself says a lot as to how much Nick Roy has done in ZX Wrestling. He's one of the best in the business. He wants all the titles, though. This just puts him one step closer to it if he wins. Who's next? Okay. Who who booked this? Who who booked You, yes, you. Did you book this? You well, I need to speak to whoever booked this, because they just they just created one of the best number one contendership lineups I've ever seen. Ken Reed, Savage, Mark Collins, Jax Harper, Dominic Dacash, Darwin Xavier, Nick Roy, and Max Nagora. Literally eight out of eight. Phenomenal entrance. Max Nagora. He won payday a while ago. He cashed in to win the World Heavyweight Championship. He has also held the Intercontinental title three times. The United, the, the United States title once. And the television title once. Sorry. These hiccups are just stupid. And now he wants to add the All-Star Championship to his ever-growing collection. On top of a metalcore entrance theme. All right, here we go. Eight men, but only one winner. The rules. Only one person can gain a pinfall inside the ring. Pinfall or submission, actually. There are no count outs, no disqualifications. Ken Reed is already looking to pick it up, but Jax Harper breaks it up. Savage now, trying to take his anger out on Darwin Xavier. That does not go so well. Oh, wow. Unprettier by Ken Reed. I think Mark Collins was going for a super finisher. That did not work whatsoever. Uh oh. By Jax. By Jax Harper. Into the cover for the win. Oh, Ken Reed breaks it up. I think there was another cover somewhere, but that was broken up really quickly because I couldn't see it whatsoever. Another mind Jax by Jax Harper. Coming for the win, but it's broken up again by Ken Reed. God. I don't think Ken Reed has let go of what Jax Harper did in the SMA. It's a new Jax Harper. Come on, leave him alone. Ja Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> got taken out. Another mind jacks out of Nagora knee. Oh my god. It's non-stop chaos here. There's a cover and the referee doesn't see it. It's a kick out nonetheless. This referee is <laughs> He's gonna have a bad day today. God, the referee almost got taken out again! This 
referee is just going to get bullied for these next two matches because, my God, double underhook, the pedigree by Savage. Darwin Xavier in the corner. Nick Roy has a kendo stick, and he's going to hit Max Nagora with it, or he was before Max saw what he was doing and throws Nick into the steel steps. Springboard, drop kick. Beautiful by Mark Collins. Mark Collins is, uh, or not Mark, uh, that's, that's Jax Harper with a kendo stick. He's actually allowed to use it this time. The smack, and I think that's, no, that's, yeah, that is Max Nagora with it. That referee got taken out again, and I didn't even see it. Three people, at Darwin, why are you getting a cover when there's someone else in the ring with you? You, you fool. You absolute fool. And now Darwin rolling out of the ring after being taken out. It's just Ken and Savage in the ring. So some one of the two has got to do something. Boom. Now into the cover for the win. And to earn the number one contendership, can he do it all? Dominic breaks it up at two. And now Darwin trying to hoist up Mark Collins. But Mark says, no, 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 no. I'm too fragile for that. Oh, God. Mark Collins, though, just planting Darwin and Xavier on the outside. Letting it be known who is the superior one out of the bunch. Oh, wow, Ken Reed. Ken Reed just rolling up Dar uh, Yeah, Dominic, because it was absolutely nothing. Whoa, what a reversal. What? I haven't seen that yet. And now Mark Collins trying to deal with Dominic again. Jax is dealing with Ken Reed. Mind Jax to Mark Collins. That could do it, but there's too many people in the ring. So it's good that Jax Harper didn't try for a cover. Because if he did, there was a good chance it wasn't going to work. And now Nick Roy trying to target Jax Harper. But Nick says, okay, I'll let you, I'll let you do your thing. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you do your thing. And now I'm going to hoist you up like this with a skull-crushing finale. Rolling over to the cover for the number one contendership. Can he get a kick out of two by Jax? Five people in the ring. Six people in the ring. The referee getting hit again. Oh, my Lord. Darwin just getting slammed. Cover by Dominic for the win. And the number one contendership. Nick Roy's going to break that up. And now... Ken Reed looking to deal with Jax Harper with a stunner. Savage tossing. I think that was Mark Collins across the ringside area. No, that was Max Nagora. He tossed. German suplex by Dominic Dankash. Jax Harper walking back into the ring. Nick Roy heading outside of the ring. Jax Harper has a massive bone to pick with Dominic Dankash. And who can blame him? And now Darwin takes down Jax Harper. Now turning his attention to Ken Reed. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of chaos going on. Mark got his face planted into the apron. Rolling cutter by Ken Reed. I think he was trying to go for the cover there. Oh, wow. Jax Harper absolutely taking it out. Darwin Xavier is up, and he's going to break up that cover. Rookie move on the part of Jax Harper, but we all make mistakes. That referee just loves getting taken out for some reason. We're back to five in the ring, so it's nearly impossible to get a proper cover. You just have to be lucky. Max Nagora rolling out of the ring. A pedigree was hit on Darwin Xavier. Jack's running the ropes for some reason. Frog splash to Mark Collins by Savage. Jack's Harper and Savage are the only two left standing in the ring. Savage trying to make that only one by taking out Jax. Now he's only going to make it two with a German suplex. Meanwhile, on the outside, boom! Inverted powerbomb by, I think that was Nick Roy. Mark Collins taking out Savage. Ken Reed trying to take out Dominic, but Dominic catches him with a clothesline. Covered by Max Nagora on, I think that's Mark Collins, broken up again. These matches are pure carnage. I absolutely love these matches. They may take a toll on my voice, but I don't give a shit. Nick Roy trying to fight his way out of the power bomb. He does. Leaping shoulder tackle by Dominic to Jax Harper. Nick Roy with a ball. I don't know what you call that, but it might get him the number one contendership. Can he get it? Kick out by Savage at two. Meanwhile, drop kick on the outside by Mark Collins to Dominic Xavier. There was another cover, but that was broken up by, I think that was Jax Harper. Jesus, there is so much carnage. I can barely keep up. Waist lock to Nick Roy. Backbreaker. Max Nagora has introduced, or no, Mark Collins has introduced a table to the mix. We're four in, four out. Could be three in, three out, or three in, five out, I should say. Covered by uh, Ken Reed. Max Nagora is going to the outside. That might have just cost him. Ken Reed is the number one contender. What were you doing, Max? 
I haven't seen a, such a silly move like that in a long time. That just headed to the outside cost Max the goal the number one contendership. But Ken Reed, we can safely say that you, my friend, are the number one contender for the All-Star Championship. Next up is the European title number one contendership. And there's two people here whose entrance I don't, actually three people. There's three people in here who I don't like, so I'm just going to take this time to go get a drink, if I'm correct. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> Be right back. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not talking over Michael's entrance. I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk over Alan's entrance either. That, that, I, I, I mean, I have some respect for Michael, but it's not enough to get me to 100% support him. I just outright hate Alan Goodman, so, yeah. All right, who's next? Hopefully someone sensible. Please. Thank you, actually. I'll, I'll take this. I will very much take this. Wow. I don't remember Nuck Bomb ever getting that much pyro. Holy shit. Nuck bomb, nuck bomb, nuck bomb. 
He's a former tag team champion. And if I remember correctly, I think he's also... I think he's also a former hardcore champion as well. I, I gotta... I gotta double check. Let me see here. I, I know it's somewhere. I know it's somewhere. Uh, yeah, he is a former hardcore champion. It, it wasn't in my championship history, so I had to check the championship scramble. I remember the championship scramble very vividly. I know Duck Bomb won the title. He just didn't get to hold it all the way, though, which does kind of suck. Here comes the son of a general manager, Kyle Ordorf. In such a short amount of time, Kyle Ordorf has already garnered a handful of championships. He is a former one, two, three time hardcore champion and is also a one, two, three time television champion as well. Six titles in the span of three, four months? That's impressive for a guy like him. He's also one of the most agile on the roster. That's something else. All right, who's next? Who's next? For fuck's sake. I don't need to put up with any more of the SMA's BS after Flashpoint. There's my <laughs> I'm not joking. A, l a little $100 bill just fell into my booth. I I'm not kidding. Well, I know I know who I'm handing this to when I'm when I'm done with this. I'll give you a hint. It's not Jonathan Banks. I think this one's real too. Huh. It looks pretty real. I'm gonna lay that there. I wanna give that to someone. Alright, who's next? Bobby Adams. Oh my. This man, former All Star champion, former United States champion. Former cruiserweight champion, former television champion, former hardcore champion. God, this guy has held so many titles. And now he wants to add the European title to his name. But in order to do that, he's got to win this match first, and then beat the champion. You can just see the confidence on Bobby Adams' face. I can't blame him. I wouldn't be that confident in this kind of scenario, considering I'm not... I'm, I, I've, I've barely been in number one contendership scenarios, so I'm not all that familiar with it. But from everything I've seen, I think I've gained enough strategy from it. Already, Bobby Adams wanted to win, but that did not go so well for him whatsoever. Another stunner! Jesus! Bobby is on a roll for stunners. Trying to make a three in a row. But Alan Goodman being the killjoy that he is. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm putting a hit out on Alan Goodman and Jonathan Banks. Can we please not have them win. I was going to say. We are not even frick. We're not even We're not even fucking 30 seconds into the match. I'm already getting scared. Covered by Kyle Orndorff for the win, but a kick out at one. Now Bobby dealing with Alan Goodman. I think, I think Bobby heard me. I think Bobby heard me. 
He heard me put a hit out on Allen. That's good. I also put a hit out on Jonathan. Do not let those two in. Maybe I'll split this hundred bucks I got here. But what the? F There's another one. Why? Why does? Why does money keep falling in my booth? What the hell? Jonathan Banks taking out Bobby Adams and now tossing Kyle Orndorff over the top rope and out of the ring. Five men now in the ring, and Jonathan's taunting. You are taunting in a six-man fucking match. You're taunting in a idiot. Kyle Orndorff headed under the ring, but I think he was trying to get some weapons, but that did not work so well. Now did it? Ouch! Someone break that up, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> of all people to break that up, I didn't think it'd be Allen. Oh, but Jonathan, oh, God. Jonathan met with Pinkerton's headshot covered by Allen to get the win. Oh, kick out, though. I, hey, listen, I'm in this to see SMA go at each other. That's the best part about watching these matches, if the SMA are involved. They get to go after each other. And now... Kyle being hit with the end bomb that might do it. Jonathan Banks is headed under the ring. He's got a sledgehammer. Someone brings a sledgehammer to the ring. That means trouble. But who's getting the trouble? Allen is. <laughs> he hit on with it. Cover on Allen. Oh, it's broken up by Michael Devlin. Oh my God. Could you imagine if Jonathan Banks got the win on Allen? I mean, Allen's an alcoholic, so that has to affect his wrestling ability somehow. Allen up on the shoulders, looking to get hit with a powerbomb. Boom! That could do it. There's a submission hold, though. Jonathan Banks trapped. Nuck, don't do anything about that. Bobby! Oh, come on, Bobby. Killjoy. And now Bobby taking advantage of a distracted Nuck Bob. Nuck Bob obviously heard my call out on Allen and Jonathan. So I'll give them I'll give him that. That was cool. Bobby twisting and contorting the arm of Alan Goodman. Alan rolling to the outside. Bobby Adams with a very beautiful back backstabber. And now turning his attention to Nuck Bomb, the former tag team champion. Lock it up again. And now getting caught out. That didn't look so good. And now Michael Devlin looking to take out Nuck Bomb. That is 450 pounds. I think he just flipped over. Rolling over into the cover. Bobby Adams broke it up though, so the pin will not be valid. Now lock it up. Throwing Devlin into the corner. Nuck is down and out. Bobby thrown into the corner now. There is a kick. And now punch to the face. Nuck Bob sees what's going down. Bobby's in a bit of trouble. I think Michael wants to go for a drive-by. Boom! Able to connect. That sets him up perfectly for Nuck Bob, however. Meanwhile, Jonathan Banks going at it with, uh, with Kyle Orndorff. Bobby bounced off the ropes. Covered by Nuck Bob for the win and the number one contendership. Can he get it? Oh, damn. Kick out. I don't want Jonathan or Allen winning this unless they get a pinfall on one another. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan heard me. And now, elbow right to the face of Allen. Oh, God, went for it. No, oh, my, the fireball for an Allen Goodman. Bobby breaks up that cover very quickly. Thank God for Bobby. Throw Jonathan over the top row, but he's still on the apron. Cover on Allen Goodman. Knock, do not break that up for the love of God. Thank you very much. That is it. Bobby Adams snags the number one contendership. Bobby did right by me. What a legend. He pins Alan Goodman to become the number one contendership. Or to become the number one contender, I should say, for the European Championship. Up next, we have our main event. Lilia Miller will be taking on Ashley Mika Hernandez very shortly. We're going to be setting up for that. She, again? Now what? Oh, we're at, the, we're at the Performance Center. We haven't been here yet. Hey, Jim. Can I have a word with you for a little bit? Cut this weight, Ralph. I'm in the middle of my training. This is really important. Okay, what is it? Aiden went up to me and was still on my case about injuring Damian Walker. Well, you can't blame him for that. Accident or not. You still injured his friend. He has a right to be angry. Regardless of how that makes you feel. That's not why I'm here, though. He told me to get a new gimmick and to stop impersonating you. I thought of something for myself, but I wanted to ask you permission to do this. You are my master, after all. 
and I wouldn't want to disrespect you in any way. After all, you've given me opportunity after opportunity to prove myself worthy of being here in CX Wrestling. Aiden is right about you needing to get your own gimmick. I get that you want to have mine as tribute, but you won't get far copying someone else, so I will not stop you from trying to find your true self. In fact, I actively encourage that you do so. The sooner that you find out who you truly are as a performer, the sooner everyone will see the potential that I see in you and start to respect you as a fellow pro wrestler. So do what you must to succeed. Thank you, Master. But I also want to change up my moveset too. If you don't mind, I want to train with you so I can show off what I had in mind. Very well. Get in that ring and we'll test out some of your moves. Well, looks like they're going to have a little bit of a training session in there. Yep, that's, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> I love how we just cut away from that. All right, now let's get into the main event. Here we go. Louder, louder, louder. Blast it. Come on, blast it. I don't give a damn if it's piped in or not. Just blast it. Come on, I can barely hear a theme song. Come on, louder. <laughs> These are some of the loudest boos I have ever heard for a female competitor. I, I'm not... Accurate. Accurate. I think it's pretty obvious that the crowd here in Georgia does not like Lilia Miller. I mean, after what she did to Xena, who the hell could? Hopefully, Himiko will be able to sort her out. We'll see what happens, though. I have a feeling Lilia is just going to pull something out. We'll see, though. Here we go. She seems fine. Okay, let me elaborate on why I was confused on her earlier in the night. Her social media account has just been going off, just showcasing these disturbing images, and it's been really freaking me out. Though I was in contact with Emiko before we started off the, the show, she did tell me that she was feeling fine and ready to compete. I asked her mentally. She seemed okay. Well, she sounded okay. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. But listen, I'm going to get this straight. No matter what she's going through, Himiko is still a god-tier performer. Two-time women's world champion, former women's hardcore champion, the first ever double champion in the history of ZX Wrestling. This girl's a badass. Let's just hope that Himiko can sort Lily out. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Lilia Miller versus Ash Hamika Hernandez. If Lilia wins this cleanly, that will be a tremendous statement to Zena Deville. But Hamika says, no, 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 no. That is not what's going to happen, and I'm going to make damn sure of that. Hamiko just hammering away the vicious side of her already coming out. Speaking of which, it is Monday today. It is October 14th, and today is actually Canadian Thanksgiving. And I am a Canadian, so I'm going to be celebrating Thanksgiving after all this is said and done. Already a cover by Lily Miller. I don't know how that's not a rope break. Her feet is literally touching the rope, Raph. How do you not see that? And already Lily just taken down Himiko. And now, again, going for the roll-up. I think she's just trying to get the hell out of there as quickly as she can. It's behavior like this indicates that she's scared and wants to get all this over with. I've, I'm too used to watching matches with the SMA. Uh, this behavior is obvious. Himiko springing right back up. Oh, oh, Lord. Gets caught with a violent DDT, but just hops right back up and is already back on Lilia's case. 
Now Himiko bringing up the the form. I, I don't know if she's still the number one contender for the championship. I freaking hope she isn't. I'd rather give that spot to Himiko. She deserves that spot the most. Continuously hammering away on the... Ch um, I, I keep thinking this is a championship match. What is wrong with me? Could you imagine if Himiko was still the champion? That... <laughs> That would honestly be pretty cool to see. And hey, look. Himiko and Zeta, they've already put on clinic after clinic after clinic after clinic. One more. I want to see one more match between the two. One more. Oh, Himiko, why are you taunting? Ha, Lillian can't reach. Oh, come on. You walked right into that one. Oh, Jesus. Catching over the Tornado DDT to follow that up. And now into the cover for the win. And to make a statement, kick out at two. I had to keep an eye on the referee there, and a violent knee to follow that up. Now prying at the hair again, there's a punch right to the face. Himiko knocked down again. And now the champion, or not the champ, what the fuck? I keep, God, I'm so used to main events being championship matches. What the hell is wrong with me? Lock it up again. Throwing Himiko over the top rope and out of the ring. And now, Lilia trying to figure out what to do next. Does she just want to count out win? She wants a count out win. She's that she's developed that much cowardice that she wants a count out win. Is she that stupid? I think she is. Himiko's like, come on. You're really this stupid. And now Boom! Just dropping her. And now what of the cross face? Tap her out! Oh, come on. Lilia broke out of that really quickly. Now Himiko getting right back up, but she runs into, uh... Oh, God! Oh, God! That is a very unique guillotine. A very, very unique guillotine. But Himiko, she knows her way, she knows her way around submissions. She knows her way around. And she's able to break free. And now lock it up again. Looking for a... Oh, God! There's a... Knee right to, I think she was going for a knee to the face, but she connected with the chest instead. But it still works. Hammering away with a slap to the face to follow that up. Lock it up again. Himiko throws Lilia into the corner. And now trying to crush her between a rock and a hard place. That doesn't get her anywhere. It gets followed up with a DDT off of the top rope. Rolling her over into the cover for the win. That referee just loves to run around. For the win. Oh, but... Ugh, kick out. Of course the hiccups have to come in as soon as I'm making an important call. Why do you do that? Now running the ropes. Hurricane Rana by Lilia Miller. And now trying to pry away at Himiko once again. Not letting Himiko get much breathing room. It is a smart strategy against someone like her, but it doesn't work 100% of the time. You have to be various. A sunset flip, that is a good example of variety. Now, if she can just keep doing that, she might have a chance. But meanwhile, Himiko's back into the corner. Lilia wants to make great use of this, but she does not. She took way too long, and Himiko's already back on the attack here, laying waste to, to Lilia Miller. And now look at for the sister Abigail. Now into the cover for the win. One, two. Oh, come on. Got the shoulder up at two and a half. The sister Himiko is not enough to keep the... Ch uh, I keep... God almighty. I was going to say former number one contender. That's what I'm going to say. I say former in hopes that she isn't the number one contender. Because, <laughs> my God, she does not deserve it. Hey, Xena openly admitted that Lilia doesn't deserve the number one contendership spot. If anything, Himiko does. She said it herself. I still am anticipating a No Man's Land cage match between the two. I don't care if it's for a title or not. I want to see it. And now, Lilia Tante. She still wants a count out win. Seriously, I don't think I've seen this much cowardice from someone in a long time. But somehow it's working out to her. I can't believe this is working out for her. Thrown back into the ring now is Lilia Miller. Come on. Capitalize on this. Oh, come on. And now... Oh, my lord! Look, I gotta give Lilia her props. She's good. 
But if she could just do this on a regular basis, maybe people would have respect for her. Punt to Himiko. That might have knocked her out cold. Cover for the win. Himiko powers out at two and a half. I think the crowd was chanting one more time. What the hell is wrong with you guys? You were just booing her like five minutes ago. Now it's talking to the arm. Eat defeat. That might do it. Cover. That could be a road break though. It isn't. For the win. Oh, but Himiko kicks out at two. Gets the shoulder up. And the match will continue. Fight forever chance now ringing out. Himiko now. Has the upper hand, lock it up, throwing Lily into the corner. Now bringing her up, stop it away at her rib cage. Oh, the friggin', I think that was an elbow right to the temple. That could give someone a concussion. Believe me, I can relate. I, I had a concussion last year, actually, in real life. <laughs> I've gone one year without a concussion. I should be happy. <laughs> and now the rapid fire stops. Yikes, girl. See, Himiko, she knows what she knows what to do in these types of environments. Now the headbutts, trapping her arm as well. Locking up again. Himiko. Oh, violent clothesline. Takes down Lilia once again. And now locking up again with the former number one contender. Vertical suplex able to connect. Viva la Lassa, mi amigo! The three amigos! There's two, make it three for Eddie Guerrero, and a tip up to follow it up. And now looking for the sister, Himiko able to connect. That could do it. Now waiting in the corner. She's got one thing that could do it. Looking for the Bloody Mary, that could do it. Looking to tap out Lilia Miller. Looking to make her submit. This would be very embarrassing for Lilia. But Lilia, she's hanging on. I gotta admit, Lilia is resilient. That's how she's gotten so far. But resilience can only get you so far. Continuing to pry away at the arm. Lilia just powerless in this whole scenario. Lilia on the verge of submitting. I don't... Jesus, I'm genuinely surprised. <laughs> Holy. I thought Lilia would have tapped out by now, but shockingly enough, Lilia is still in this, but for how much longer? Okay, not much. Not much longer. Lilia survives. And now lock it up again. Looking for... Oh my god! Violent knee right to the nose. And now the head butts. Left and right. What the? What does Sarah want? Why is her, why is her music playing? Look, we get it. You're the women's hardcore champion. Leave her out. Le stay out of this. Oh, and of course. Of course, Lily is going to get a chair. Yeah, ref, you see that. You see that, ref. Oh, they both see it. They both see it. They both see it. <laughs> they both saw that. They just charged after her. Oh, come on. Of course you're going to take out the referee. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. The referee didn't go over the top rope. I've never seen that. Okay, Himiko, for the love of God, please tell me you see that. Um, no. Is this seriously how we're gonna end tonight? Is this this better not have this better not be how this ends? This had better not be how this ends. If Lilia wins this, this is Sarah's fault. Oh Jesus, she's going out to the top rope. Hey Miko, please look out. Look out, please! Oh no! Kick out for the love of God. Kick out, kick out, kick out! Oh. You've got to be fucking. S fuck you, Sarah!
you cannot be serious. Sarah Sahara just handed the win to Lilia Miller. What the fuck was all that for? I j uh, Lord above. I just, I, 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 I can't even. Oh, hang on. Is that? Yes, yes, yes! Himiko has backed up! Himiko has backed up! The champion has arrived! Boom! Karma's a bitch, ain't it? And now stomping away and kneeing away. Non-stop! Letting Lilia know no one cheats against Himiko and gets away with it. Nobody! And now it's Xena's turn to get hardcore. Got the chair and everything. Boom! Again and again and again with the chair. Non-stop chairs. Five. I think that was five hits. Six hits. Seven hits. That's it for that chair's existence. <laughs> Take everything and use it against her. I don't care if you pull out a flaming table that somehow hasn't set the ring on fire. Use everything. She's got the trash lid now. Just the, the trash can. Just hurling it onto Lilia. Burying her in a pile of weapons. And back to the chair. Let this be a lesson, Lilia. Let this be a lesson in discipline. And now, bringing her up. How about a power bomb on the weapons? Boom! Head first off of the ladder. That is a major concussion, if I do say so myself. And now, the champion continuing to lay waste to what was once a proud competitor. Laying waste to her with the kicks. And now taking her to the barricade. From one side. To the other. Yep, to the other. Looking for the Xena driver on the weapons. Boom! Right on the ladder. Right on the money. And now bringing her back up. Looking for the Deliverance. How about one more Xena driver? One more Xena driver. That'll send us all home happy. Actually, yeah, this works too. Bop! Face first off the trash can. And again, just hurling the spastic trash can. One more time. Give us one more Xena driver. Come on. On the steel ramp. On the steel ramp. That's perfect. That is perfect placement for a final Xena driver. That'll send the fans home happy. Let it be known who's boss around here, Xena. God, that theme song never gets old either. A pretty mixed way to end this episode of ZX Wrestling, but still a fun show nonetheless. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We will see you once again next week, and happy Thanksgiving to all Canadian viewers. Peace, everyone.